Hi, my name is Ryan Bricker and I'm an urban designer that makes products and fine art. I was always kind of a passionate artist as a kid and just growing up through grade school and high school um, and then really want to go into architecture, looked into architecture programs and that's when I discovered uh, landscape architecture and Landscape architecture really took my kind of love of the outdoors and nature and really took design and combined them in a way that was really compelling to me and it really kind of fell in love with the idea of kind of shaping the built and natural environment. Urban design is how we think about and shape uh, the cities, the environment around us and I mean, even beyond just the pure aesthetics of creating a place that people want to be at, enjoy, there is a much greater uh, impact on really the quality of people's lives. Solid principles of Irving design, really human-centered thinking, human-centered design beyond just machines, buildings, structures, is something that's incredibly important to our growing communities. And being a part of those conversations, being a part of those designs and solutions is, is a great part of what I get to do for a living. Working on Arlington National Cemetery in D.C. is, is really a, a kind of a life dream to be a part of something that is both an incredible piece of American history and both uh, also really an, an honor to work and serve kind of the military in that capacity and, and be a part of a landscape that evokes so much kind of meaning and history uh, has been one of the highlights of my career. I think a real designer has a pretty wide lens and looks at and appreciates really all design, whether that is graphic design, whether that is um, architecture, whether that is kind of a fashion design. I think it starts with curiosity of wanting to know why things are the way they are. How do you make things better? Are they more functional? Are they more beautiful? And for me, that's the way I've kind of tried to live my life. And I, I look at the world around me and try to appreciate the beauty in design, try to understand where there's problems, try to figure out where there's solutions. And uh, for me, that's kind of expanded in out of just landscape architecture, urban design, down into the product world. I think this kind of natural transition into the product world really began with a conversation with a good friend who had a genius product called the Corksicle. It went into a bottle of wine. It looked like a uh, icicle and it cooled the bottle of wine from within inside. And that kind of simple, beautiful genius was was something that was so interesting to me. I began to think, you know, what are some more ways we could expand your brand and bringing new products to the surface? And uh, through that relationship, I've been able to create a few products for them that have been out on the market. And so that's been a, an exciting way to kind of transform your design career into a new realm. Everyone's heard it over and over again, you know, you know, find your passion, chase your passion, and it's almost become kind of a cliche. I mean, and there's a lot of great truth in that, in finding, and hey, what are the things that really kind of make you feel alive, where you come alive? Some of our gifts and talents are right outside of where we're comfortable and where we're used to. And so, I mean, maybe for someone it's, they, they think they want to do painting, but they actually might fall in love with photography or maybe it's dance or something. I think there's a lot of things we maybe aren't totally aware of that are not our really target for our passion that are right on the edge. For me it's been just learning something new has, has become a passion. Instead of being focused on one thing really, whether it's product design, fine art, really moving from what could be a very orthogonal architectural problem quickly to a very abstract piece of art uh, and down to the functional aspect of a con thinking about a consumer product, it, the way that form and function come together in someone's experience. I, I'm a master of nothing but maybe a jack of all trades and, and moving across different planes of thinking, design, scaled from a city down to a something you can hold in your hand 
Uh, that's what holds my attention. Having a diversity uh, in your talent, finding a way to use your gift and talent in a different way or a different medium, I think will ultimately come back and strengthen your kind of primary uh, passion, your primary kind of talent source. Whoa!